Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fabulous day so far. So I'm pretty excited. We got some more parts, as you can see in that box, for the first gen. So what they are, actually, I'm going to show you right now, is, it might not look too glamorous, but coils for the front. So we can lift the front up a little bit off the ground. As you can see there, the front is a little bit lower. Let me move this trash can. It's a little bit lower than the back. And now I'm, right now I'm going to get a measurement on that. So I got my tape measure here. And right now, to the fender is 31. And on the rear here is about... 33 and a quarter 30 right about 33 33 and a quarter so we're about almost two inches off so not quite two inches almost two inches but hopefully it'll give it a little bit raise it up a little bit in the front actually not hopefully but it will raise it up in the front so but the only problem is let me see if I can find my part that I mislaid now only problem is when I ordered it, I only got one spring isolator. So we got one coming with Napa in the morning, and then we'll be able to wrap it up. But you, it won't matter to you guys, you'll see everything in one video. But uh, yeah, I'm going to lift this thing up in the air. I do not have it lifted off the ground right now, I just have the arms of the lift underneath of it. But I'm going to lift it off the ground, and we are going to get right into it. But I will be able to get one side done tonight. Hopefully, if we don't run in, into any other issues. Just like that she's out so here's the old one as you can see this isolator that's the part that I'm missing the one part I forgot to order and I only got one that one is completely shot in this spring I will in a second I'll put the new one beside this one and compare but let me grab a flashlight real quickly alrighty so I mean it's fairly easy there's a bolt 
up at the top up on that one it's a 27 millimeter nut and then I won't even had to pull that nut off there but um and then this one right here which I'm I may not have had to pull either but then these two right here those two right there you have to pop those off and then it gives you drops down gives you just enough space to slide that spring out of there so all together this took me probably oh let me see about 20 minutes just to pop this side completely apart so we're gonna throw it back together with our one shock isolator I think I'm saying that right, isolator something of the sorts but yeah so I will put the part Moog part number for these springs down in the description this is this is the Moog part number yeah focus it's a K160037 for the isolators and I only got one of those so I'm gonna put this side on and this is a Moog I don't know if this box does that box have the part number on? No, this part in this box does not have the part number on. I think it's a 7226 Moog part number. So these this one, it's not as much taller as I thought it would be. You can see there, maybe it's about a half an inch taller or so. Not an inch, I'm not exactly sure. But uh it's not quite as much taller as I was hoping, but as this one you can definitely feel is a lot heavier than this one. This one you can feel is kind of not doesn't have it's not as is pounded out this one's a lot heavier duty and it's I don't think it'll sag as much so hopefully that will pick the front end up so I figured it would be a bit taller than it is so now I'm kinda crossing my fingers and hoping that it will pick the front end up so we'll just have to see so yeah I'm gonna throw this new spring in and move on to the other side got this side all wrapped up um, I think it will lift it a little bit because it went in a whole lot harder than it came out so there's a bit yeah I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna lift it up so fingers crossed for now but yeah it's to pull one side and put it back together the whole job I do not know exactly what the book time is but um, I'm gonna guess it's probably about three hours Pulled it apart in about 20 minutes. Took me about half an hour to put it back together. So, and while we were in there, we did, on the other side, this side hasn't come apart yet, obviously. But on the other side, while we were in there, we did um, clean up the bearings a little bit and add new grease. So, and also, when you're doing this, is a great time if your ball joints are bad. To place your ball joints or to do brake pads. Mine, neither one were bad. Both of mine were good. So, I did not worry about that. But yes, I did my like I had said in a previous video. I'm not sure if I said it in this video, but my wheel bearings are a little bit loose, so I did tighten them up. Bearings look good, so I just tightened them. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this tonight. Um, in the morning, when I get the the uh, other isolator for this side, where we'll rip this side apart and put everything back together and see what it's like. So yeah. So guys, next morning here, um, as you can see, I got my new uh, coil in there, and I have the isolator. I got my new isolator, came in with Napa this morning, so we have this side all wrapped together. I figured there was no reason for filming this side since I'd already filmed the other side, and it's just the exact same thing. So there's a few bolts I need to make sure are tight, and I'm going to throw the wheels on, we're going to drop her back to the ground. 
So guys, I'm so excited. This thing turned out absolutely awesome. As I, uh, you didn't see, but I take, took it off the lift. I have it outside here. I'm gonna show you guys it. The front is about, so here you can see. It's quite a bit higher in the front now. Not, still not quite as high as the back, but um, it's about, now it's about 30, just under 33 in the front, and it's just over 33 in the back, so I think it looks a whole lot better. There's a little better view. So sorry about that, that uh, air compressor kicked on out there. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, it looks a whole lot better than it did. So I'm 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 happy with how it turned out. Um, I wouldn't have minded a little bit more maybe than maybe we could have put in our uh, old um, leaf springs, the helper springs in the back. But um, on now it even it drives nicer. So those old springs are pounded out. They're old. They're worn out. Um, those you'd hit a pothole and it would really it would keep bouncing now you hit a pothole and it bounces and then it smooths back out so the ride is a bit better too um so yeah i'm really excited i'm it looks a whole lot better so thank you guys so much for watching and um stay tuned for more videos make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video